Alright, hey guys, it's Pryor here, and I'm going to teach you how to make this simple 3D header. It's really clean. I like the 2D and the 3D uh, combined. The background and the lighting of it is really nice, and I'm going to teach you how to make th this little f effect right here as well with the green and the 3D text. So let's uh, go over to Cinema 4D. You're gonna need a Lightroom. I will put one in the description below. Um, let me see here. So you just need to go MoGraph, um, Motex, and then I have a font. This is. I'm just gonna be recreating the same one just to save time, and I don't have any ideas of creating a new one, or anything. So. Uh, First, you want to get the text, uh, the download link is below, uh, I'm not too sure what the font I use, so I will be searching for it right now. Oh, it was Velocity, that's, that's the font name guys, if you want to download it. I think I'll put that in the description, but uh, I'm pretty sure if you're learning how to to this tutorial you would know how know where to find this font alright so I'm gonna put it as kiwis I don't think it matters with uh, let me check if it matters with capitals yeah it's a lowercase font type and I'm pretty sure I did a, a hundred looks like a hundred maybe 75 all right so, you want to go death, uh, and put 75, and what I did here is I pressed C, so you press C, and you press this plus, press this plus, press the plus again, and you will have these letters, they're, they separated and so you could rotate each individual uh, and move it around each indiv individual letter. So let's see. I'm not gonna copy right off of it, but I do like the positioning of the letters, how I put it. Like I, I like how it was slanted, and this one was going up this little higher. So I will try and. Yeah, so, uh, basically you just want to rearrange them however you want. I put a little bit space between all of them because it was a little, uh, cluttered and close to each other. But don't keep it out too much where there's a lot of space and it takes up a lot of area to work with. So, I think I have it like this. Mm. Really doesn't matter how you do it, but uh, it really looks clean uh, rotating the letters and how it looks. So, I think this is fine. Uh, also, I need a I think I need to change the settings. No, it's alright. Okay. Now when you download this, when you download the Lightroom, you want to change this. You just want to do this and then press desktop and save because it'll be under my hard drive and it won't allow you to save it. So, I think this is perfect. Um, We'll check. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, I like this. Looks good. Um, maybe a little closer in here. And not this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is perfect. Um, I don't really mind for 
it uh, I just really want to fix the spacing and have it where it's supposed to be so let that render out okay so um, if you've never created a Twitter header but I'm pretty sure everyone has if you're watching this video and you want to design yourself it's a uh, 1500 by 500 and I put it 300 uh, for the resolution because I find it best at that so we'll press ok mm, we'll just have the same background color as this one so I think so here's the color here's the RGB if just in case if you guys wanna copy the same color so mm, let's go here so we want to make uh, this background we want to open up our text here yeah. oh this is the this is the other one and this is the actual one so that's these are the difference between both of them they're basically the same thing look it's about it right uh, and sort of this is uh it's okay I like this one more but this is the one we just created and all of the headers are 2.5 which is the center and 1.66 so that's around 8.3 there we go and I wanna just size it down a little I'm not too sure about the I don't like how the look of the I think I will fix that. I'm pretty sure I could. But anyways, um, so we'll just put it down a little. I'm here. Where's okay? So I'm just gonna move this over here. It's the same thing, anyways. If you want um, to make the same exact logo, not make it, but like the same effects. Here, I'll go through them. So here's the effects, you could just pause it. There, there, there. Alright. So really I just put a a little thing right here. Oops, there. Alright, so for this shading of like the to make it a little darker on the sides, I did a a little light right here here's the color code and the RGB 202020 so I just want to do this and then have the same thing on the other side so basically like that um you want to convert smart up it. and then you don't need a rasterize but it doesn't matter and uh, what I'm really call it shadow, but you know, it doesn't matter. I just like one of these. Alright, so now you want to just create another lighting here. There's one more lighting that I want to put on here. It's a it's just the uh, actual white lighting of it well not another one but like just a certain lighting so I think we could do it something like that I think it was under it yeah it was under it and then we'll put down the there you go. And sometimes I feel that the these uh, shadows for the 3D effect of the text is a little too dark. So sometimes here I will just uh, fix it myself, like probably like that, and then just like darken it a little. So you could just do that and then fix it up yourself find it best like that because see 
uh, how it looks cleaner. So, right here. Um, oh, that was erased. Okay. So, you could just fix it up. I really like doing this because it fixes the shadow of where it was. See how that was way. Looks way better. Uh, way much more cleaner. Don't need to do it on all of them, but just the ones that they really need to. I'm just doing it all, just, just, just to make it look cleaner. And like some of them, you could make it look darker. Because like this one is too light, you can't even see the thing. So you'll just do the same thing, create a clipping mask. And you want to... This. Oh, I don't want to put too much, and I'm not gonna make it. Probably like that. That looks good. All right, and then I'm gonna. Actually, I think it's more over here where it should be. Okay, and then I just wanna. Just gonna cut off where the shadow is starting at, and there we go. I think it looks much more cleaner, and how it looks, we could, and it's fixed up like that. Think, uh, not too sure. Your oh, it's just the. fix the lighting because uh this is in front of the w so that's why it's creating that shadow for me but anyways if you want to create the little effect you have here right that green uh, wavy bar and i'll make the shadow as well after so you just want to get the pen tool you want to not you don't you want to create a clipping mask for it but not yet until you actually make a shape with the pen tool so we'll just don't matter i don't need name it so you really just have to do that it's not that hard i don't find it hard but you don't want to have it to where like it's like this so i'll just show you how there's like a little uh gap here and it's like almost not even round it's a sharp point you don't want to make it like that so you have to have a pen to do it naturally so like it's hard but you know, it's not very hard but uh, might take a couple tries and if you don't know how to uh, do it you could always just uh, take off of mine which is this one and you could just drag it over to yours don't matter but you just wanna create like that sure, I'll just cut it off right there so that way you don't see it I think that's going up too high. Okay. And yeah, like that. So all you want to do is just put it back into that. Want to make a selection? You want to grab this and fill it in. I'm not too sure what color I use there, but really doesn't I think that work. And then you just have it like this now. So you want to create a clipping mask on it, and it'll have this. Then you want to bring the opacity down, and it'll really start showing up. Like that, so 
if you want to ever fix up the color on how it looks it really doesn't matter so I think the the brighter green will show more because the opacity is already down but actually yeah you need to have the opacity down and you'll have the same effect like I like this one a little bit more how I did it just because it's uh, bigger waves the curves are really much more deeper but you could fix that this was just for the tutorial um, not really taking my time just showing you the concept and how you could do it these were seeds to act like a watermelon which makes no sense because it's kiwi but I just had the idea of it so to create the I'm not too sure how I created the shadow for this one because I create shadows differently uh, a lot of times depending 3d etc um, I think I might have uh, duplicated because there are a lot of ways to make a shadow for text so I could have done this and I think that's what I did because I do see the curves right here of the text so I think that's what I did so what you want to do is well yeah I sort of copied it from but you could put the shadow right here okay so what you want to do is just do this I don't think it should be under the shadow though that and you want to put a color overlay on it and you want to lower the opacity yeah I like that mm, I think I did it like this yeah this way no I might have done it this way then you just want to grab your eraser and just do that then you want to go down a little now nah, that's not the exact way I did that shadow it could have been an other way too uh, maybe I've done it like this mm. and then I just like showed like little I could have done it like that too but I'm not too sure does look good either way though it looks like a reflection for this though and anyways uh if you enjoy the video uh like comment subscribe do all that uh follow me on twitter i'm most active on there